don't know me yet, my name is Ingrida and welcome to my channel guys. So this video is gonna be a little bit different from my usual videos, is I'm not gonna be doing makeup on myself. For this time my friend kindly volunteered to borrow her beautiful face so I can draw on it. So we're gonna be creating a red carpet glam on her beautiful face. Wait till you're gonna see her because she literally looks like a goddess, like a Greek goddess because she's Greek. I'm telling you, the girl is so pretty she doesn't even need a makeup so I think we should just start now. <laughs> See, it's not fair because you're so pretty and ready and like... She say I'm pretty. I, I, look, look, I look like a thumb. She looks like a goddess. This is what you're meant to say. Anyway, no, 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 no. That's after you're done with me. <laughs> so when we're gonna start doing, I'm gonna prime her eyelids using the concealer, the brand new by Revolution. I did a review of this, so I'm gonna link it in here so you guys can check it out. I'm just gonna tap a little bit on... So I'm gonna set that quickly with NYX AG Studio setting powder. If I find a brush first, hey, success. She has like at least 50 brushes in front of her. And she's like, oh no, if I find a brush. I don't know if you've seen um, a red carpet shows or anything like that. Most of the shows, the girls look very natural makeup looking kind of-ish. It's kind of natural nude makeup, although it's so much makeup on. So we're gonna try to keep the eyes kind of like nudish and daytime-ish. Not really, if you know what I mean. We're gonna do a little bit contour and all, but I'm gonna keep it very daytime, kind of more like natural, pretty, and so on. So let's do it. So I'm gonna use a makeup revolution flawless free resurrection palette. If you have a Anastasia Beverly Hills model Renaissance, this is a dupe for it. You can use either, but I'm gonna go for this so you can recreate the look. As our transition color, we're gonna go with this color in here. So I'm gonna go slightly bit higher than her creases. You literally, your face is so light for doing makeup. It's like somebody struck me with a feather. Really? Yeah. Very, very lightly. I don't want to buff in too much color or pick too much color to be like too intense. So I'm going just a tiny, tiny bit. If we will need more color, we can take a denser brush later and pack it in the place and create kind of like a cut crease. I don't think we're going to need that. So I'm just going very lightly. So next thing we're gonna do, I want to go slightly bit darker in here, outer corners in a triangle shape. So for that, I'm gonna go with a darker brownish color. So first I'm gonna go with this color in here, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of that and pack on the outer corners in a, like V shape and blend slightly out like to soften the edges. It's so refreshing to the makeup of somebody else's face when I'm like... I can imagine. Oh, like, you nail your face every time. I know, but like, every time we meet, I'm like, damn. Damn, girl. Yeah, like, I need to bring it. Because, like, you, you come out every time and you're something out of a fairy tale. I'm Aww. Not I'm not kidding. You're so kind. That's lies, so. <laughs> though. Nope. You're so good at lying. <laughs> So I prefer to put my eyeshadow first before I apply foundation for a few reasons. First, if there's any fallout, you don't ruin your foundation and you don't need to do any cleanups or anything. Second, if you go a little bit messy on the edge of your eyeshadow, you can tidy up later with your foundation with a sponge. So if you go messy, heavy handed, don't worry about it. Everything's fixable. Next thing we're gonna do, we'll take the lighter shade and we're basically gonna go through all her mobile it from the inner eye corner to the middle, blend it out to the darker point. So next thing I'm doing, I'm gonna take the eyeliner and I'm using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner in black and I'm gonna draw the little wings on her eyes. Right, so we take some thingy off and we're gonna draw some super wings. So as you see, I took a brush. You obviously can go just with an eyeliner, but for hygiene reasons, if you do makeup on anyone else, you shouldn't use anything straight from the packaging. As the eyeliner is already done on both eyes, next thing we're gonna do, we'll take this darker color in here. I'm gonna go on the outer corners of her eye in the V shape, C shape, whatever you prefer to call it, just where the liner is. So 
So I'm dragging the same color slightly bit closer to her inner corners through the top, higher than her crease is to create kind of like a cut crease a little bit, just to give more depth to the eyes, more definition. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna curl her lashes a little bit. So what I'm doing, I'm gonna heat the curler a little bit up. You can use a lighter or you can do it with your hair dryer. Just before you're gonna actually put it on your eyes, check if it's not too hot, not to burn your eyelids. When you're doing this, go as close to your lash line as you can and then look up and pulse it. So that will curl the most of your lashes. Holy shit. Yep. That's not, sorry. That's really cool. <laughs> so next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna apply some mascara on her eyes. Once again, if you're doing makeup for someone else, make sure you get the disposable brushes rather than dipping into the actual mascara. I'm gonna apply some mascara and I'm gonna get back to you. So don't think you really wanna watch how I'm applying mascara because that ain't a rocket science. So I think we kinda done with the eyes. What I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna jump in with the face in contour a little bit. But first we're gonna prime. So for primer, I'm going with the NYX Angel Face primer, skin primer, perfecting skin primer. And the, for the foundation, we're gonna carry on with NYX. We're gonna use NYX HD Studio Photogenic Foundation in the color Nude. And later gonna set with the NYX, the same line HD Studio Photogenic Translucent Setting Powder. So first I'm just applying with a brush like a tiny bit and later I'm gonna go with a sponge to blend it. What do you think of the silicone sponges? I don't like it. I have a sil silly sponge in here. Mm. I apply it like instead of brush, I would go with a silly sponge and then I would go with a normal to blend it. I know lots of people like brushes to use, mm -hmm. but for me personally, I don't know. I just maybe got used to using the sponges. sponges so much, so brush just kind of annoys me. <laughs> so as you can see, she looks super pale now and that's not what we want. We want to warm up her face. So I'm gonna use the NYX Wonder Stick and gonna warm up her cheeks, like cheekbones. All right, so what I'm doing, I'm putting on my hand first to melt a little bit the contours do it look like Kim now? No, not yet. I already set a powder, set a powder, set a foundation with powder. So as you can see, there's far too much on the face because I'm waiting for it to dry in and absorb all the moisture out and set her foundation. So while we're doing that, I'm gonna jump in with her eyes with a lower lash line. So for that, I'm gonna start in the inner eye corner with this color and on the outer corner of the eye with this color. So as you can see, I took too much product on my brush and it fell a little bit under her eye, but as we have excess setting powder on the eye setting just now, when we're gonna wipe it, it's gonna wipe off everything. So what I'm doing now, I'm just softening the edge of the shadow where I applied on the outer corners of her eyes, just to blend this in slightly bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard to look at her and not laugh. Okay, let's do this again. I know, I have I'm a ready. clown face. So to contour her face, I'm gonna use a Naked Flush Native Palette and I use this nice warm tone bronzer and I'm using Beige Cosmetics 125 to do that. Gonna contour lightly her nose, just a tiny bit. And for the cheeks, we're gonna go with the warm shade from the NYX Sweet Cheeks palette. And we're gonna use this very warm color, color, very warm color, color, <laughs> coral, color, coral, <laughs> color. That's what I meant to say. So the last but not least thing for us to do is to highlight her face and fix a little bit her brows. So for the highlight, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit Ultimate Glow. And I'm gonna go with a mixture of the snow and white sand. Taking a small lens fan brush, once again mixing these two colors. And because her eyebrows are so dark, I'm gonna go with the darkest color here, which is number four. C 
see a difference between brows now? That's the first thing I always notice about people, brows. And if it's mm. bad brows, all I can think in my head, fixing the brows. <laughs> Literally, like in my head, I'm working with your brows, girl. Yeah, just have like your brow kit and your bag and be like, okay, wait a second, we're gonna have a coffee. Well, let me do your brows first. <laughs> Literally, first thing I notice about girls is brows and I'm like, oh girl, I can help you. <laughs> so the last thing to do is the lips. So we decided to go for a nude as this is a red carpet glam look and usually on the red carpet we like to use more like a nudish tones although the dark purple would look nice in here but anyways we're gonna go for nudes so we decided to go with this color here you see i tried quite a few and this one is the nyx matte lipstick in the color honeymoon I think I'm gonna add a little bit of this gloss I have in my hand just in the middle of her lip. This one is by Tarte. So makeup look is complete, what do you guys think? So as you just seen, she looks absolutely <laughs> stunning. I mean, she looks stunning. <laughs> you make me look stunning. I'm dropping everything. I'm so clumsy, to just to let you know. I'm surprised this ended up looking good, actually, because I'm dropping everything. My girl. Thank you so much for being my model and volunteering your face to be drawn around. Well, thank you so Coloring much for having it. me. Aww. You made me so pretty. So She's my first ever guest on my channel, guys. <laughs> Not first, the last. Ever, first ever person I drawing on my channel too and she volunteered so kindly to be yeah. my coloring book. <laughs> My pleasure. The that most beautiful pleasure. coloring book ever. So guys, I really hope you find this video helpful. Thank you so much once again for my stunning model. I mean, she's just so beautiful. And yeah, I really hope you find this helpful and you will try to recreate this glam red carpet and makeup look. If so, don't forget to tag me in your pictures on your social media. Mm -hmm. And yeah, what we should do if you like the video. Yeah, uh, they should comment and subscribe and like the video. And press a thumbs up. Yeah. yeah, press the subscribe button, guys. And I can't wait to share more videos with you guys. And I'll see you very, very soon. And we are for the red carpet event. I'm yeah, just gonna be ready to go. Sure, goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> we better leave now. Come on, girl. Let's go. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> we just dropped everything. If you would see a mess of the brushes. But anyways, bye. bye. We had a lot of fun. La la la. <laughs> I don't even know what language I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. But anyways, ciao. Bye, I love you all. <laughs>